Hello everyone. So in this lab exercise, we are going to look into Azure Application Gateway. So we're going to create a couple of virtual machine and we're going to add it to the backend pool and we're going to test the Azure Application Gateway. So let's go and start the lab. All right. So in this exercise, we are going to use Azure portal to create an application gateway. And then we are going to test it to make sure it works correctly. So the application gateway directs application web traffic to a specific resource in a backend pool. And then we are going to assign listeners to the port, create some rules and add resources to the backend pool. So without wasting any more time, let's go and start creating an application gateway. To create one, go to your Azure portal and search for application gateways and select. So we don't have one at the moment. So I'm going to create one by clicking on create. Make sure you select the right subscription. We can either create a new resource group or select an existing one. Since we don't have one, I'm going to create new. I'm going to call this resource group Contoso resource group. Click OK. Give a name for your application gateway. I'm going to call it as Contoso app gateway. Pick a region where you want to deploy. I'm going to retain it in East US. Under tier, I'm going to keep it as standard version 2. We have an option to convert this as a web application firewall as well. So in this exercise, we're going to keep it as standard. Um, I don't want to enable auto scaling now. I'm going to select no. Instance count, I'm going to keep it as 1. Availability zone, for this exercise, I'm going to keep it none. So if you want to enable it for HTTP2, you can enable it as well. So I'm going to keep it disabled. The next task is to create or select a network. So since we don't have one, I'm going to click on create a new virtual network. Give a name for your virtual network. I'm going to call it as Contoso VNet. The default address range is 10.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 .0 .0 16. I'm going to keep it as it is. And we have a default subnet, which is 10.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 .0 24. I'm going to change the default to application gateway subnet and I'm going to add one more subnet. This one I'm going to call it as backend subnet and the IP address range I'm going to give is 10.0.1.0 slash 24. So now we created a VNet and within that VNet we have two subnet. One is application gateway subnet and another one is backend subnet. Click OK. So within front end make sure you select the type as public IP address as the type for the front end IP address type and under public IP address click on add new and give a name for your public IP address I'm going to call it as application gateway public IP address click OK next click on backends so we don't have any backend yet so click on add backend pool give a name for your backend and make sure you select yes to add backend pool without targets click on add next click on configuration so under the configuration tab this is where we are going to connect the front end and back end pool we created using the routing table so under the routing rules click on add a routing rule give a rule name so i'm going to call it as routing rule under listener name i'm going to call it listener front end ip i'm going to set it as public make sure the protocol http is selected port is 80 Listener type is basic and and error page URL no. Next to listener is the backend target. So click on backend targets. Target type make sure you select the backend pool and select the backend target as backend pool. Under HTTP settings we don't have one so click on add new. I'm going to give the name for the HTTP settings HTTP setting and the backend port is 80 and click on add. So now we have added the listener rule and the backend targets. Click on add. Now we have the frontend, backend pool and we have the routing table to connect both. Click on next for the tags. We, do, we are not providing any tags. Click on review and create after the validation. Click on create. So Azure would take at least a few minutes like four to five minutes to create your first application gateway. And uh, we will wait for this deployment to finish before starting the next step. The next step is we are going to create a virtual machine. All right. So our deployment has been completed. Click on go to resource to go check your application gateway. So we are in the Contoso resource group we created. Within that, we can see that there is a virtual network, the public IP address and the Contoso application gateway created. So we will come back to this application gateway later. In the next task, we're going to create virtual machines and then we will go and add the backend servers to the backend pool. 
So let's go and do that. So for the ease of deployment, just to get the virtual machine for this environment, I'm gonna use some script. It's an ARM template that I'm gonna deploy it via Cloud Shell. So we get our virtual machine for our testing. So I'm gonna execute the command to install my virtual machine. So if I go back to the virtual machine, you will soon see a virtual machine here under creation status. So let's hit refresh. You can see that there is a backend virtual machine which is in the creating stage and we have a backend virtual machine too which is also in the stage of creating. So we have to wait until it says it's running. Let's do a refresh one more time. All right, so our both the virtual machine has been successfully created and both are running. The next task is we are gonna add the backend servers to the backend pool. Let's go back to the home page, go to all services, go to resource group and pick the resource group where we created the application gateway and make sure you select the application gateway. I'm gonna sort it by type and select the Contoso app gateway. On the left hand side under settings, click on backend pools and select the backend pool. Under the target type, select virtual machines and make sure you select the backend VMs we just created. So I'm gonna select the first one, which is VM2 and again, select virtual machine and select the VM1 and hit on save. It is initializing the deployment to make sure that both of our targets are added to the backend pool. So now we have to wait for the deployment to complete before to proceed to the next step. The deployment is still going on. All right, so it is complete now. So now our last step is to test the application gateway. Let's go and do that. So let's go back to our application gateway and click on overview. Although IIS isn't required to create the application gateway, I have installed IIS on this virtual machine so we can, it help us to verify that the application gateway is working. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the front end IP address to make sure we are able to connect to the backend virtual machines. Go to the front end public IP address and copy it. Go to another page or another tab and try to browse. So as you can see that it is now connected to the backend virtual machine. We got a response back from the virtual machines. This is a confirmation that the application gateway is able to connect to the backend pool, which is VM1 or VM2. So if we hit a refresh multiple times, since we have two virtual machines, sometimes the connection can come from virtual machine one as well. So right now it is picking the connection from virtual machine two. Now it is changed to virtual machine one. Congratulations, now we have configured and tested the Azure application gateway. And I hope the information provided in this video was helpful. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.